Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is the He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. The crowd was electrifying. Uh, it's already electrifying enough coming down that tunnel. But uh, to come down the first night game and to see the stadium aglow for the first time uh, just made it that much more special. The months of anticipation before the first night game in Notre Dame history and you thought about playing underneath the lights and you thought about practicing underneath the lights. Then you saw these big barracks where they came up and they extended their arms above the stadium and they shined light on Notre Dame Stadium for the first time. Growing up in Chicago and seeing the, right, the lights on at Wrigley Field for the first time, seeing the lights go up at Notre Dame for the first time, those are two big moments of sports, but I got to live through one at Notre Dame with the Notre Dame-Michigan game under the lights. It's a, it's a whole different shimmer. You get the daytime, they always talk about the broadcast starts, they talk about the fall day that they're having at Notre Dame and how the sky is shining on the Golden Dome. When you walked into the stadium at night and the lights lit up the grass, the grass had a different shimmer than it did during the daytime. The stands and the fans looked differently because the sky was so dark. And it is. It's different. It um, goes back to play. Any, I think any sporting event that you play under the lights gives it a little bit of special emphasis of how important that game is. The place was packed. I think the name of the company was called Musco or somebody like that. They had the lights everywhere. Uh, the special part about that night game, um, when you think about those games of that nature, was probably our dominance. Our offensive line, really, probably for the first time in, in three years that I'd been here, uh, was as dominant as one line could ever be. Uh, everything clicked for us. Up. Brooks are the running backs. Bell gets the call. Bell fights. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Greg Bell, the touchdown from 10 yards out of the Irish lead, 22 to 7. Our charging Larry Moriarty kept Michigan guessing on this 37-yard burst. Notre Dame's longest gain of the evening. But it was left for free safety Dave Dewerson to make this game-saving steal to protect the 23-17 Irish upset. Well, beating Michigan uh, was just a great feeling because the year before they had embarrassed us. And uh, we still had that in our minds. And I think that was one of the most important things that, uh, that when we went out that game, we played that football game, we played it with our hearts, we played it with some intensity that I had never seen a Notre Dame football team play with before. To go out and put a beating on Michigan the way we did that day, uh, both Larry and I ran for, I want to say, over 125 yards each. So it was a special night. Oh!